Welcome back to Dishonored. We're in Donald Tower. We're trying to find the torturer's chambers. And we've been given kill the torturer as an optional task. I don't know quite why, but I'm definitely up for that. So let's just get a, a crossbow bolt out. Oh, he didn't die. Okay, that wasn't the right strategy. Let's reload. Let's try a wind blast. In fact, let's, let's drop a save here. Let's, let's experiment with a few different approaches. Okay, wind blast doesn't do much against the torturer. The torturer seems to be quite tough. Let's go back and try again. I feel like a headshot with a crossbow bolt should do it. Mm. Apparently not. Let's try again. Okay, wait for him to stand still. Okay, how did a headshot not kill him? Ah! Okay, that went pretty well, but I've got another idea. I'm into experiment mode now. What I suspect is that if I can send the dog to sleep, then that will make dealing with the torturer a bit easier. In fact, if I send the torturer to sleep... Yeah, let's, let's try sending the torturer to sleep first. And then let's try to stir a bit of stabbage. He's quite a tough fighter. Okay, that sort of worked. Okay, so the dog's asleep. The torturer is suspicious. Okay, lots of bolts does the job. And that also gets us a room. Here you are, Corvo, within the high walls of your enemy's stronghold. What an impressive sight you make on your way to face the Lord Regent. How will you end his reign? By blood or by truth? He's not an easy man to get close to. If the Empress had been as well guarded, how different things would be now. Is it just revenge you're after? Or do you have another plan in mind? Will you restore things? Make it all right again and crown a new Empress? Or will you send them all howling into the void? Either way, I expect a good show. Okay, so the torturer didn't have any loot. There is a deary. Oh, deary, deary, down in the cellar so dreary. Why won't you come out to see me when we're here? When you were here, we made them scream, didn't we? Come back to visit and I'll give you another present, carved and shiny. You aren't much in the way of proper conversation, mind you, but I do love to watch you work. Come back and I'll tell you stories, such stories. Your granny. Was the torturer doing something to this person? This person doesn't seem to be moving. I think they're dead. I can see all the tools, the tools of their trade. There's an apple if I want it, but I don't need it because I didn't take any damage during that fight. Right, so looking at our quests, we need to get back up to the broadcast station. So we need to get back through the, uh, the areas we were struggling with before. So let's get the dark vision on. Let's go through this room. Seems to be a nice safe bet. Pick up that hemlock essence there. Let's 
Let's just wait here, make sure this person's gone past. Don't want to run the risk of them seeing me on their patrol path. And then it was down these stairs here, I believe. Oh, actually not down the stairs, it was just dropping down into this basement. Oh, hello. You're walking around now, are you? Uh oh. Okay, I think I need another sleep dart. Oh no, no, she's going back. Let's take her out just to be on the safe side. And let's just try and find a nice, fairly well hidden spot for her. Just to avoid the risk of someone stumbling upon her. Okay, let's get the blink on. Short teleport can be useful. Seems to be a key hanging here. The kitchen key. This isn't where we came in, I don't think. No, I'm sure it was. Oh, there's a door there. Hmm. Okay, missed the door. Okay, so we're now back down here. Which I think I should be able to. Let's just get dark vision on just to make sure there's no one around. I think I should be able to blink up to that balcony there. And get inside. Cool, looks pretty good. Right, let's run upstairs and play that broadcast. And that then does complete the objectives for this level. And so it's just going to be a question of escaping. Lord Reed's just over there, if I did want to kill him. But we think that the, uh, the non-lethal approach here should be satisfactory. If I explain, then you will see. I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity. Okay, do we have a... Uh, right, yeah, we need to reach the boat now. To rid us of those scoundrels who waste I want to get away from this broadcast drink, tower because I feel like that's where the guards are going to be heading for. Which the rest of us toil, and it was a simple plan. Bring the what disease you bearing rats from the Pendicean continent and let us free care of the poor. It's over, Hiram. The plan worked perfectly. Okay, I can hear him being apprehended. Okay, I think we want to head back out the way we came in. Which was... Oh, I can't remember. Oh, it's over here. So there was no other way than to be rid of her and take power myself. She had to die, you see. She had to die. Bringing uh, it was up here. Cool. And let's go to the exterior. Okay, Samuel is 164 meters that way. And again, that tower is going to make things difficult for me. So I might be able to blink up to that platform there. Can I get up there? Oh, I can. Okay, if I can get up to that there. That didn't go too well. Can I still get up? Okay, I'm on top. No one knows I'm here. Okay, so that thing's no longer a threat. Samuel is over there. I'm going to drop a quick save because I think there's some capacity for some long distance blinking right out of here. Okay, jump and go. Nice. Okay, I want to make my way along here. Let's go for about there. Uh oh. It was going so well. My body's still tumbling. So well. Okay, so that saved me just after that thing was off. Um, what have I missed? So there was a rune 110 meters back there. Now that rune's only 29 meters away, so that one might actually be worth going for. Let's try going into this building. Doesn't seem to be anyone in here with me. Though I'm somewhat not entirely unexposed. By order of the Lord Regent, effective immediately, all access to Dunwall Tower is hereby restricted to official traffic via water lock only. Front gate sealed. Okay, that didn't stop me. Let's 
There's the rune. Pick that up, stop it making noises. Something about sewer capacity in the months of nets. Um, I don't think there's anything important there, that's just a bit of flavour. Okay, there is something over in this little door. Bullets, okay, don't need those. Right, so salmon is 124 metres that way. So the question is, if I go out this door, am I going to be in, ex in an exposed position? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I do see that thing. Uh oh. I just heard a slightly troublesome noise there. But I think this area has already been cleared out. Yeah, because that's the way I came in. Along that corridor there. Okay, I do see a tall boy walking over there, but I don't think he'll be able to see me from there. Right, so we're back here trying to get our way to Samuel again. So. I think I maybe need to get on top of that wall there. And then over to here. Okay. I'm going to drop a quick save. I feel like I'm fairly well secluded here. And this is a fairly safe drop. I'm not sure if there's going to be someone walking around here. Yeah, nice. That looks pretty promising. Okay, let's... Oh, no, there they are. Okay, I'm going to drop in behind and then do a... Do a takedown. Okay. Nobody here but us rats. Somebody walking across there. Okay, we don't want that. Uh, can I blink down safely? Seems pretty good, doesn't it? Ooh. Oh, that was a wasted blink. All right, Samuel, I think we did pretty well. You ready to go back to the hound pits? Yes, Samuel, the time of the Lord Regent has ended. I think I did make use of restoring saves a little bit more on that mission than previously, uh, but that's just because I wanted so much to avoid the alarms. So what did we end up with? Hostiles killed. Who was the hostile we killed? Oh, that was probably the, um, the torturer. That would count as that. And there was one dead or unconscious body found. I'm not sure when that was. Oh, yes, of course, I remember that. That was quite early on in the previous episode when uh, um, we, we got a couple of guards in one of those little things. Still, low chaos, pretty good. We killed the torturer and we exposed their corruption. We only found two out of the four runes and none of the bone charms. We just weren't paying attention to runes and bone charms. I felt like there was a lot more pressure on it. I just didn't have time to get distracted by that. Um, didn't pick up many coins either. So in that sense, a slightly less successful mission than some of the other ones. Coronation Eve, the Lord Regent has been defeated and the reign of Emily Coldwyn is now assured. All that remains is to see her safely escorted to Dunwall Tower where she will assume her position on the throne. Something tells me something's going to go wrong. Big changes. Makes me uneasy to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. So does that mean my name is now clear? I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Yeah, has, has it been revealed that we didn't actually kill the Empress? Can we walk around without a mask on now? Alright, celebrate with the loyalists in the bar. Let's just see if any more stuff has spawned. Nope. Uh, is Piero around? I'm just thinking stocking up on things would be useful. No, Piero is with the other loyalists, I'm guessing. I did use up quite a few bolts in the previous mission. Hello, Emily. Hello. Everyone says you did something good tonight. We're leaving tomorrow, aren't we? I don't know if I want to go back to the tower. I can be impressed from anywhere, right? Maybe a ship. Tell me he's done it. Word is spreading all over the city. The tyranny is over. By this time tomorrow, Emily will be on the throne. After that, we'll clear your name and put everything we've got into rebuilding the city. Okay, my name's not clear yet then. Most of Dunwall is rats and corpses. The Admiral's right, I'm afraid. Corvo, you did your job while the rest of us sat on our asses. Our work starts tomorrow. Tonight, rest easy. Tomorrow, we crown an empress. 
To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Cole, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. There's some very troubling noise going on in the background, sort of mood music, definitely the suggesting all man, isn't well and good. Court protocol and cosmology, of course. Do you provide these things? Of course not. I no. really must get away. I just think I should have a central so role. She trusts me. It's true, she does, but she should trust all of us. Don't you trust me, Callista? Mm. Do you know Emily is quite special? Oh. She learned from all of us, you especially. She trusts you absolutely, I believe. Weird things are going on. She, she is Callista Kerr now. She, she has learned, learned to defend, defend herself, herself in this treacherous city. city. It will be good to hear people laugh in the streets again. I made a list of all the swear words the Admiral uses, <laughs> but Callista made me throw it away. She, she sees, sees more than she is telling. Young Lady Emily. What's that thing going on? There's definitely a thing going on. Emily's first act will be to rescind the warrant for your arrest. We can finally take that mask off. Such, Such laughter. And they sing the old songs. Eat well tonight. Linking arms. arms. We'll find That's this man. Part of the Lord's Regent's ring of skulking spies and killers. Do you think Piero will ever want to marry? Oh, you, you like mean, Piero, do you? Pathetically? You talk to him more than I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes under the influence of wine. And sometimes, sometimes the influence wonder what the is the point of say. life. I must remember. You are an impressive man, Corvo. I hope they give you the credit you deserve. Attention. Any disturbance in the region of Dunwall Tower this evening has been the result of a previously scheduled training exercise. Something very odd is going on. I'll need some men to move I, I need to. I guess I need to go to bed and, and figure out what the bejesus is happening. Sure, all will be revealed, but yeah, the game is clearly far from over. Uh, I think we've just got a head rush from standing up too quickly. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its Oh no! Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Have we been yes, betrayed? I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job. Remember, all of them need the body if we come forward oh the, the bastards the murdered the empress will be greeted as heroes yes it'll grant us legitimacy we'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin you fuckers see to the body won't you Samuel yes sir Samuel how could you after all we've been through together I thought you were my friends Come on, Samuel, it's not too late to come good. I'm sorry, something terrible, Corvo. But I only gave you half the poison. Oh, they good on you. Me and it was all I could think to do. I think you're strong enough to survive that. I'll put you on a raft, and then I've got to ship out myself before they find out I've got against their wishes. Snakes. They'll want to do the same to me as soon as I've outlived my uses. Hopefully, you'll wake up and find your way out of this cursed city. Betrayed by Havelock, Martin and Pendleton, you were only saved at the last minute by Samuel the Boatman, who left you adrift in a ruined section of Dunwall. The Flooded District. Oh crap. the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poisoned. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to Dowd. Looks like we're in Dowd's hands now. Dowd, who we were led to believe was an enemy but oh who knows allegiances just shift on a on the edge of a coin here
the state of this place. Okay, we can look around. Well, that's about it. I'm very much in cutscene heaven right now. I know a great deal, bodyguard. I recognize those marks on your hand. A gift from your friend. The one who talks to you in the dark. Talks to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shovel blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. You're a mystery, and I can't allow that. Oh, they're my stuff. My stuff! Oh, dishonored and discarded. Right. Oh, I'm back in the other place again. Mission clues updated. What have we got? No, there's not much useful there. Um, yeah, we're in, we're in that dream zone again. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. Oh, get off me, you rat. Well, this is an awkward situation to be in. Still got my mask though, they didn't take that off me. Alright, I need to escape from imprisonment. Well, there's a loose brick. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. They didn't really think this through, did they? And I think I accidentally killed a rat. Okay, we can dark vision. Are they asleep or dead or what? Oh, that's just a corpse in another one of these pits. Okay. My gear is 127 meters away. Dowd's base is there. There are people strolling up there. Uh, let's... Ooh, pick up, right, a bounty note. Dowd, finding Corvo in possession of that mask could have been an elaborate frame job, but now the newly minted Lord Regent Havelock is announcing to all the city that he has proof linking Corvo to the masked felon. The bounty is 30,000 coins, but if Corvo truly is the masked felon and is responsible for all the things the wanted post posters accuse him of, I expect the bounty to double. Because we have him alive, we should be able to barter for even more. Regarding Slackjaw, we watched him for a week, and when we were ready to make our move, he suddenly disappeared. Maybe he left the city. Okay, I've got an assassin's blade. I'm hoping they're going to stay up there and not come down. As a report to Dowd, this is the musical device that the overseer had strapped to his chest. While it was functioning, we were unable to perform transversals or tetherings. I suggest we all get a good look at it. Okay. So that's the thing we've seen overseers using. I don't think it's something we're going to be able to use against other people. Right, so once I start making my way up here... These two are going to give me a hard time. We need to study their pattern. Maybe Down has some more options. What have we got? So, so across is to those things. Let's just have a look at what's downstairs. Looks like there's some fish. And there is a little bit of loot. Okay. Might as well take what we can to heal up. This is water, and there's some things down there. But something tells me these fish are going to give me a hard time. Do I have possession? I don't. Just having a little look around here. Do I have enough thingies to purchase possession? I don't. I only have two runes, and I'd need three. That's a shame, because I could possess a fish. That's not going to happen. Okay, let's try, let's try swimming for these green things. 
Oh, they were just some eatables. And I think that the health I lost by swimming through the fish was offset by the health that was restored there. So that was a um, bad strategy, all things considered, really. Alright, it's time to take out these two. Uh, let's blink across to there. And let's see when the right opportunity to take one of these out is going to be. Okay, they've both got the backs to me at the moment. But I don't think I can do much with that, because you can't get behind a person when they're leaning against a railing. Okay, they're both walking away now. They're kind of trading places. Okay, this person up here... Okay, they're quite separated now. Okay, this person's going to come along. Okay, they're swapping over. Okay, here's a plan. Right, go there. Very quickly, bend time on. Deal with him. And then get behind the other one. And deal with him too. Oh, I'm amazing. That was quality. That's how this game is supposed to be played, I'm pretty sure. The Brigmore job. Ronaldo, do the jobs as you were told and do not question my planning again. Yes, the women who meet in the ruins of the Brigmore Manor possess abilities like our own. And they use poisons administered by Dart. But just as you share my ability to blink across space through the transversal trick, you also inherit my resistance to some toxins. As I told you when you first joined us, it is another of my gifts that whoever serves me loyally shares in some of my power. This may or may not aid you against their poisons. The leader of the Brigmore Witches must pay for her betrayal. If you succeed, your share will be enough to build a fine home in Sukonas in your old age, assuming you live. Okay, I've, I've done a pretty pleasing job of this particular room. Let's, uh, let's just loot what we've got here. Uh, let's turn the dark vision back on, because there's some loot up there as well. Let's have them. And I think this is where we're going to end this episode. It is time to go, and we will get our gear in the next episode. Hope you join me for that, and for more Dishonored. I've been Pete, you've been you. Like and subscribe, leave a comment, tell your friends. Bye-bye.